Raspberry Pi just sent me this, the Raspberry Pi 500. Let's open it up. Now it looks just like a keyboard, but looks can be deceptive. This is actually a Raspberry Pi baked inside a keyboard. Now it's not the first time they've done this. This is his dad, the Raspberry Pi 400. Okay, they've done it before, what's different? Well, the Raspberry Pi 500 is more like the Raspberry Pi 5. He's got a quad-core 64-bit processor, ARM Cortex-A76 compared to the 400's A72. What does that mean? It's better. Clocking in at 2.4 gigahertz versus the 1.8 on the Raspberry Pi 400. Speaking of eight, this bad boy has eight gigs of RAM. LPDDR4X versus the four gigabytes of RAM on the Raspberry Pi 400. Now with the 500, Raspberry Pi wanted to make it more accessible, easier to set up. So right here, their SD card, comes preloaded with Bookworm OS. So all you have to do is plug the sucker in and go. Everything else is pretty much the same and what you might expect from a Raspberry Pi product. Ethernet, Wi-Fi, USB, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB-C power. But you're probably wondering, Chuck, how much is it? Base price on this is 90 bucks versus the $70 for the 400. 20 bucks for more speed, not too bad. Now that's the base option. It does have a desktop kit option, which comes with a mouse, a 27 watt power supply, a micro HDMI cable, and a Raspberry Pi beginner's guide. The 400 had a similar desktop kit priced at $100. So what do you think? Raspberry Pi 500, are you gonna get one? Is it for you? And similar to the Raspberry Pi 5, can this be your desktop replacement? If you're not doing anything crazy, it probably can be.